Five things you should know about George Floyd. Welcome one more time to your channel. Be ready to watch extraordinary people with amazing talents. If you are not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello amazing people, in today's video we are talking about how the world continues to mourn and speak out for justice within the killing of George Floyd. The 46-year-old died while in police custody after a politician pinned him to the bottom together with his knee for several minutes during a Minnesota neighborhood, as Blavity previously reported. First. He was known as a gentle giant. Floyd grew up in a predominantly black neighborhood in Houston before relocating to Minneapolis. He was a star football player for Jack Yates High School and helped his team make it to the 1992 championship game in the Houston Astrodome, according to the New York Times. Even as a security guard at Congo Latin Bistro, customers saw his gentle spirit and one said he loved his hugs from his regulars, the Star Tribune reported. He would be mad if you didn't stop to greet him because he honestly loved seeing everyone and watching everyone have fun, customer Jesse Zendevhas said. The owner of the restaurant said he was like family and was eager to learn how to bachata dance. He wanted me to teach him how to bachata dance and I gave up because I couldn't turn him because he was 6 foot 6, owner Giovanni Thunstrom told FOX23. Second. He was a father and loved by his family. The gentle giant's sister, Bridget Floyd, was on Salutation America on Wednesday and spoke to host Michael Strahan about the circumstances surrounding her brother's death. They murdered my brother. They killed him. They have to use more pressure on these guys. Firing them isn't enough, Bridget said. In addition to a bunch of family and friends, George leaves behind a six-year-old daughter who lives in Houston. Third. He loved the city of Minneapolis. His girlfriend of three years, Courtney Ross, said she was heartbroken by the protests that had turned violent Wednesday night. Waking up this morning to determine Minneapolis a fire would be something that may devastate Floyd, Ross said. He loved the town. He came here from Houston and stayed here for the people and therefore the opportunities. Floyd was a delicate giant. He was about love and peace, she added. Benjamin Crump, the family's attorney, issued an announcement echoing Ross's sentiments. Crump thanked the protesters for joining them in standing for justice, but we also cannot sink to the number of our oppressors and that we cannot endanger one another as we reply to the required urge to boost our voices in unison and outrage. Revs. Civil rights worker and Al Sharpton and activist Gwen Carr, mother of the late Eric Garner, this attending to meet with city officials and faith leaders to concern justice and change solidarity with the community. Fourth. Celebration of live services will be held in North Carolina, Texas, and Minnesota. Crump said following the conclusion of an independent autopsy, the family intends to have multiple homegoing services for Floyd. Services will be held in North Carolina, Texas, and Minnesota, the three states where Floyd lived a portion of his life. Fifth. Floyd's family is calling for murder charges against the officers involved. During her interview on Greeting America, Bridget said more pressure needed to be applied to the officers involved within the killing of her brother. I would like to work out the officers charged with murder and convicted, Floyd's cousin Cher Editate said. I wouldn't be proud of anything less. In my mind, they executed him. The plan is to form sure these officers are charged with the murder of George Floyd, Crump said. When you're thinking that about it, it was nine minutes that he begged for his life while this officer had his knee in his throat, had his knee in his neck. Thanks for spending some time with us amazing people. Make sure to like and subscribe to don't miss any other videos. We also handpicked these videos which we recommend you to watch next. You can talk to us in social media. Thank you for being an amazing person and hope to have you back tomorrow.